nail friends welcome back to easy nails today we are going to create a super easy diy at home acrylic nail set so i'm going in with my base from double dip and i'm applying a nice thin layer of that all over my nails i'm using nsi universal nail liquid and i'm going to be using this double dip red color in imperial red it is a beautiful gorgeous Christmassy red perfect for this time of year today we're going to create a really easy nail a look at home with acrylic so here I'm just building up the nail again you guys I prepped and primed my nails and as always you want to apply a nice thin layer of clear acrylic underneath your nails to protect your nails and to have something to file back to. So I'm going to apply this gorgeous red color all over the nails. And you guys, please subscribe if you have not already. Just press that button below, totally free, and you will be subscribed to my channel. I show you guys how to create super fun, affordable nails at home, and I review tons of nail art and nail products for you. So I would love it if you guys would subscribe. If you are subscribed, thank you so much, you guys. I truly appreciate all my subscribers, and I am so happy that you guys are here today. I really, really enjoyed working with this double dip powder, you guys. Super smooth and creamy. Highly recommend it for beginners. I'm using a, a number 10 brush here. And again, the NSI Universal Nail Liquid, which is HEMA free. Super happy about that. And then I'm using the double dip clear base here to encapsulate all of our nails. You always, always, always want to encapsulate, you guys. This is where you build the structure of your nails so that they are strong and do not crack or break. And also you are protecting that color and design underneath your nails so that when you, excuse me, when you file, nothing comes off. So I cannot suggest enough you guys always, always, always encapsulate your nails. You can use acrylic, you can use hard gel. I love mixing acrylics and hard gels. Whatever works for you guys, but always remember to encapsulate, okay? And I'm finishing up these nails. This red is absolutely gorgeous. I see it looking beautiful on every skin tone. You can never go wrong with a classic red all throughout the year. I really enjoyed this color, you guys. I hope everybody is safe. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well and enjoying the nice cooler weather that we are getting finally. So here you guys, my nails are all dry. To ensure that your nails are dry when you are using acrylic, just tap on your nails with the back of your acrylic brush or with your nail and you should hear a clacking noise and that will ensure and let you know that your nails are fully cured and ready to be filed. Okay, you guys, as usual, I'm using my five in one tapered nail drill bit. Highly recommend this, it's seven, eight bucks from Amazon. Super easy, does not cut your cuticle area and it shapes those nails perfectly. After you have filed and buffed your nails, you guys, make sure you clean them really, really well. Either wash your hands or clean them with rubbing alcohol to get all that dust off. You do not want any dust remaining on the nail as we are going in for our super fun bling application. So you guys, I applied a layer of no wipe top coat, cured that, and then I'm gonna go in with this beautiful red um, chrome powder from Beauty Big Bang. It is a gorgeous red chrome, and I'm going right over that no wipe top coat as soon as it came out of the UV LED lamp. So I cured it for 60 seconds, and then I'm going in with an eyeshadow applicator and rubbing that chrome into the nail. When you are using chrome, super important to use a no wipe top coat, cure it. And then you can use a makeup sponge, you can use your finger, you can use an eyeshadow applicator to just rub that powder into the nail. And it's as easy as that, you guys, to get gorgeous chrome nails in really simple steps. So then I'm going in, you guys, with some builder in a bottle here, and then I'm gonna add some bling onto this nail. So as always, you guys, I applied my builder in a bottle, and then 
my no wipe top coat. This is Amy Lee no wipe top coat. And this is gonna ensure you guys that your crystals do not move. I love this method. It is like putting shrink wrap over those crystals. They do not budge when you use this method. Highly, highly recommend. And then I'm taking some gorgeous red crystals. I'm applying it on to the nail here. And again, we did not cure this yet, okay? So we have the builder in a bottle um, or any hard gel that you guys would like, just a little dollop where you're gonna put your crystals and then go over that with a nice thick layer of any no wipe top coat and then go in right away with your crystal application. And you guys, I'm gonna get here some gold crystals. These ones I got from Amazon and I'm just gonna use these to add more to the design. And what I like about um, gluing on my crystals this way is I have time to move them around. It does not dry as fast as glue. So I can take my time with that crystal placement until I ensure everything is exactly where I want it and then I can set it in my lamp. So I am just randomly applying these super tiny gold crystals on the top of the nail. And I am using this um, crystal picker upper, you guys, from Amazon. It is super, super great. I think it was like eight or nine dollars. It has a dotting tool at the end and it picks up the biggest crystals to the smallest crystals. It does everything. So highly, highly recommend. And then I'm going in with these teeny, teeny, tiny AB crystals, and I am randomly putting these on the nail. Okay, you guys, and I did not cure this nail yet, right? We have the builder gel and then the no wipe top coat on top. And oh my God, these nails are so much fun, you guys. I am so excited. They are coming out beautifully. I am just using my finger here to move around the crystals as I would like. And again, that is why I prefer to use this and not nail glue. But if you like to use glue to glue on your crystals, that is perfectly okay too. So I'm going in with the top coat here, you guys. And this red is absolutely gorgeous. Again, if you guys order from the Double Dip store, I forgot to mention my code GLAMNAILS20 will get you 20% off. They are super affordable to begin with. So that code on top of it is super, super nice, you guys. 20% off Glam Nails 20. I will leave it down below for you guys. And I'm continuing to bling up these nails as usual. Never can have enough bling. And you guys can see that these crystals are not moving. So I really like that until I cure them in place. And then we are all gonna also go in with some transfer foil, you guys, and we are gonna draw on a French tip on that ring finger, so stay tuned. So you guys, I cured those nails and I'm going in with a liner brush and the Beatles gel, white gel polish. And I am attempting to draw a white French line on these nails. I am not the best at hand drawing, but I think it turned out all right. And then I just use the Eye Method Beauty transfer foil glue and then this lovely lace design transfer foil and I put it right on top of that French white line and it gave it a really pretty elegant look. Absolutely love the way that this nail turned out. I threw on another layer of top gel and cured those and that is it you guys. This super festive, super easy DIY acrylic nails at home. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in my next video. Bye.